Hello, everybody, and welcome back to more end case where we literally just fell down an entire elevator shaft. We were in the actual elevator cart thing, but we still fell down. But we're fine. We have a mild concussion, but we'll be okay. And there's definitely nothing wrong in this entire object. Mm hmm. Nothing's going wrong. Everything's fine. <laughs> it's not fine. Main menu, final protocol, isolation mode. Attention, levels minus two and minus three are now in isolation mode. Use the security terminal to unlock them. Enter a command from the following menu. Bulletin board, announcement for the staff. Stat check, check the entrance to door status, log out, log out of the system. Enter stat check to check the status of the entrance door. The door is locked, enter open to unlock. Open. The door has been unlocked. Uh, enter bulletin board. A chronic, uh, uh, a chronic chronological why is that word so hard chronological i can speak uh september 7th volunteers wanted dear employees volunteers are requested for newly commissioned mining areas guaranteed over time Con you contact your supervisor for more information entertainment dear employees a concert featuring local rock band the funky forefathers is scheduled to take place in our event hall tomorrow september 10th 1976 at 8 p.m all are welcome the employees, due to increasing reports of employee sickness, a medical checkup for all personnel has been mandated. Please report to the infirmary immediately. Mandatory castration, what the fu? Dear employees, all male employees are to report to the infirmary for mandatory castration. The operation will be performed with two bricks. No anesthesia what dear, dear employees i'd like to inform you about the serpent in my vagina he speaks to me he says he tricked eve and i'm eve help me help me get it out of me dear employees die which is die i hate you here thank you for your time okay what the heck is going on here oh boy everybody's gone crazy this is great oh god i don't want can i just leave i don't want to be here a loud noise the was ring ringing in the empty hall no. meow cat yes i know i know i don't want to be here either uh seized item list upon a spectrum of a group of excavation site workers the following items items forbidden for keeping using and moving through the security per perimeter were discovered a piece of iron with a sharpened head and handmade grip weapon type shiv two units a pay pack of wayward extra cigarettes one unit unopened handwritten note oranges are smoking wayward the nerve of them peter don't forget to share your fucker uh beds mean crystals and a sachet items of unknown origin use one unit handwritten note a relic set the strange thingy to the nurse to get the big salaries let them earn it all above mentioned items were confiscated and moved to the seized items vault all right let's see what this computer terminal says access denied Ooh, rough Okay, there's the intercom that's crackling, but, but, oh, drinks vending machine. Yeah, right. You never work. You never, ever actually work, so I shall not. Main elevator. A handful of earth. No, I don't need earth. Does that elevator actually work, though? Attention, final protocol activated, access denied. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll just click that. <laughs> fine that's fine all right can i use the intercom no i can just use this door locked can i open it 24 the intercom crackled but i can't do anything with the intercom so i only unlocked this door not actually that door can i open i can't hack that insufficient ability score i cannot use it I can go through the head. I was going to say, like, I, there must be a way I can go somewhere. You approach the ventilation access grid. The bars are slightly rusty. Drops of yellowish liquid occasionally drip from the steam mist cover. Move away. Uh, use it? Ah, okay. Can't do anything with that. I thought I could maybe go through it, but I, it appears I cannot. I guess they're all the same. You feel a light breeze. The air vent is buzzing quietly. The air conditioners are on. A small puddle of yellowish sludge spreads along the bars of the ventilation grip, slowly evaporating. Well, see, now that sounds very, very, very bad. 
Ah, you stop beside the round access grid. Faint yellowish streaks are flowing out of it. There we go. There's the one that we can go in. Oh, hello. We magically appeared here. Broken vending machine. Oh, use the broken vending machine. Get all the things. The Vega drinks vending machine greets you with a disabled light display and the sound of trickling liquid. Pink sludge is dripping from the machine's hatch. The machine is broken, but there still might be something useful inside. But I don't. I'm not. I'm not heavy. Uh, I'm not strong enough. You slide your hand into the machine tray and barely manage to jerk it back in time. Without warning, the hatch slams down, blocking access. You won't be able to get anything else from this vending machine. Okay. Oh. Okay. Why? Well, I don't know why my cat, my camera did that, but that was weird. Okay. Ooh. Oh. It's a servo shell. Sorry. I <clears throat> sit on the bench. Oh, let's read this. I get excited when I see power armor. Okay. Uh, consider this note an official statement. I, Major Seymour Hobbs, head of security for C-12 Nashville facility, take full responsibility for all decisions leading to loss of life. I activated the final protocols and locked the door to the security room. I will remain here to stop anyone attempting to break through and deactivate this protocol. I act as my duty demands, but I cannot live with it. I don't know what else to add. Tell my family I love them. Major Seymour Hobbs, Black Bank. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. A popular lightweight modification of the famous K5, equipped with an alum uh, aluminium receiver and a big bipod instead of a stock. Head of security key card. Take all. Take it. So we've got this, which is six to let's let's uh, compare real quick. Six to twelve um damage requires muscle five we've got that precision plus five for critical damage uh, chance plus five firing range 11 uh five millimeters jamming chance of three percent crit modification 120 so i can't use this one because that's a heavy weapon this one is 10 to 15 crit modifier is 150 percent less precision uh you get yeah you get precision debuffs on this one shotgun because it's a shotgun Firing chance is 12. It gives also a minus one initiative and a jamming. The jamming chance is is a percentage lower, but the other gun seems much more useful. So we're going to keep the other gun, uh, I think, equipped. All right, in we go. Hello, servo shell. I like you. Um, ooh, seized item vault locked. There's the elevator terminal. Magazine. Let's look at the magazine first. <laughs> there was a porn magazine on the floor. Pushed out of the sofa. A gorgeous blonde winks invitingly at you uh, from the cover. Except there's something wrong with the picture. There's something wrong with the picture. Bend over and take a closer look. Look, the classy picture is covered with small but rec recognizable symbols. Symbols which shook the world back in the day. Forefather glyphs and corner the ultimate combo flip through it you flip through it someone's covered the page in line after line of forefather glyphs the ink has made the paper soft and rough the details of the naked boys are barely distinguishable behind the hundreds of characters and examine the inside cover the first uh, th and last pages list things like the table of contents publishing information distribution numbers contacts for ad agencies and more pictures of knockout women but you can't make out uh, any of the text every square inch is filled with forefather glyphs occasionally they even overlap check out the centerfold hmm oh god oh god oh god okay glyphs seem to follow the shapes of the body so you're curling and curving okay take a closer look at the spine of one of them a separate line of glyphs running along the spine something about them seems familiar taking a closer look you realize some of the writing resembles the latin alphabet distinct words then jump out at you from the foreign characters help 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 drop it and move on yeah let's drop that and move on shall we more dirt oh cctv monitors and a telephone Ooh, let's look at the CCT cctv monitors you stop beside a bank of black and white security monitors at first they all seem to be displaying snapshots however you soon realize that people are pacing back and forth in the corridors and rooms there are several switches on the control board under the monitors speaking with the captures each switch controls cameras in a particular area Push the button caption as parking lot. The monitors blink as they switch the cameras to the surface. The black and white footage almost makes the picture seem somewhat less sinister. The employees' bodies sport on the pavement resemble rope bumps. The flame ravaging the overturned vehicles blinds the cameras. Uh, you see your tow truck and Claire's body lying motionless beside it. Push the level minus one. 
The server is not so spacious and there are fewer cameras installed on it. You push the button and the image only appears over four monitors out of six. The remaining two go dark. You can see yourself standing beside the monitors in one of them. The black's body lies beyond the door in the nearby room. Uh, level two there's barely any light on the residential level you throw a cursory glance at the monitors all monitors seem to be displaying the same picture an employee stops on the camera lifts his head gazing into the camera with his mad glowing eyes a minute later he disappears into the darkness soon after that he returns gazes into the camera again and leaves the fifth monitor displays something interesting for a change an orange is pillaging the bodies of his dead colleagues he kneels beside a corpse rummaging through its pockets then moves to another corpse minus three level minus three the office level doesn't seem deserted some vague shapes are standing beside the glowing screens and pacing around the corridors the computer room is displayed on the third monitor a scientist in a white lab coat is sitting at the desk gazing into the terminal screen every once in a while he turns away from the screen and drops something down in his notepad you can see an office room on the fourth monitor there is an armchair in the middle a woman in silver colored uniform sits in it her legs crossed push the button caption is excavation area the image on all monitors is distorted with strange wave-like ripples the static looks like nothing you've seen before all right equipping the servo shell it's damage it's not great but it gives us a little bit of a buff before we move on so we should do that chair there's another terminal there are two more terminal terminals over here doesn't contain any useful data probably nothing in here either okay let's try the safe and there's a locked a locked locker locked uh, i can't lock pick it can't even force it can i force this i can cool pry it open well apparently we're kicking it open but but yeah Ooh oh my take all can't yeah can't lock that one uh elevator terminal password used the screen is filled with lines of unusually bright red text the main menu is a bit unsettling in this mode main menu final protocol isolation mode everything's switched uh enter safe open to open the vault yes the lock of the vault mechanism clicks loudly behind your back like an old uh, well-worn wall clock unlock to gain access to the elevator you plug this electron into the terminal port and enter the command the system takes a few moments to read the data and then reboots the term terminal in normal mode main user a uh, main menu user profile good afternoon employee enter your command to select the menu option log out cool static electric buzz strange thingy a really strange thingy smaller than ordinary relics uh extra cigarettes and metamine this work is the result of several failed attempts to create an effective stimulant for blackwing the desired effect was never achieved however a number of peculiar side effects saved these substances from oblivion doesn't actually tell us what it does though also strange thingy don't know what the strange thing is but hey we've got it now no path oh come on lies oh because of the door i guess this is still locked huh oh open with a key yeah okay with a head of security key card perfect soft footsteps what soft footsteps what you stop and listen carefully you're certain the sound is coming from the air vent you continue to listen but the sound of footsteps quickly dies off it's actually the sound of footfalls but that's fine because footsteps is what you can see footfalls is the sound but that's okay uh simply moving to the opposite corner of the room okay i'm not sure if i want to go down there now not sure you plug this electrode into the you plug this electrode into the elevator panel and press the button the speaker hits us please select your level uh a residential area first Mag magellan of course is inferior to nashville in all respects what accommodation we have here the apartments and mansions compared to the castle cattle pens we had to huddle in before and the salary soon mallory and i will have enough to purchase a personal car and every tuesday and friday night we're drinking champagne and eating shrimp in our favorite restaurant okay oh oh god moderate psychic error oh god how do i deal with this once the elevator car touches the interceptors 
A bright flash blinds you. The flashlight is pre pro uh, pointing straight at your eyes, preventing you from seeing whoever's in front of you. The light flickers. You hear a sound of someone drawing the slide of a gun. Uh, inform the stranger you're not going to harm anyone. The flashlight's yellow eye go dark. Uh, yellow eyes, sorry. Uh, the stranger steps forward. He's wearing worn out orange overalls with patch pockets. His metal name tag reads Tim Ginsburg. He's eyeing you with obvious curiosity. What the hell are you doing here? Hasn't your brain melted down yet? Hey, answer me. Yes or no? Will you at least blink or something? Don't just stand there. Reply that you were sent from Magellan to re-establish re contact with your group and provide assistance. Ginsburg backs out a short, spiteful laugh. Provide assistance? Yeah, be my guest. Maybe you could start by putting Maria's guts back into her belly? That knocks some sense into all these people? Oh, and Decca is still freaking out in there. So give her a punch too. It'll help her recover. Except... It won't bloody fucking help. Here, take a look. The orange directs his flashlight at the bloody covered floor. A black covered floor. Ginsburg points his weapon at you once again. I have no idea who you are and what you're doing here. Frankly, I don't even care. I'm getting out of here. And you better do the same. Get in my way and I'll shoot you down. No hard feelings, okay? Uh, tell him to calm down. You don't care what he's doing. You're not interested in stopping him. No, it's up to him. But you could use his help. Ooh, inform him that the elevator came has snapped and he won't be able to reach the surface. Um, it's up to you. I could really use her help. Tim's crooked smile has faded almost to nothing. You're bloody right it's up to me. Here's why I think. Fuck you and your suggestions. Ginsburg walks past you, stands on the lift and hit the button. The elevator ascends, leaving you alone in the corridor. Maybe I should have told him that the elevator cable has snapped. What if I go up? Will he be there and I could be like, Yo, dude, sorry. Sorry. Are you like stuck here now? No, that's you. Oh no, that's that is Tim. <laughs> yeah, sucker, you can't leave. Hi. Same beside the broken elevator. Ginsburg res uh, resembles a Christmas tree. A few chains are dangling from his neck, and he's wearing a lady's gold watch on his left wrist. He points the gun at you with a practical move. Oh, you. Things are looking shitty. I admit the elevator's crashed, and I haven't found any other exit so far. Do you know any other way out of there? Uh... Ask where you got a gun. The gun has helped you avoid cold to the touch. He steps back, still holding you at gunpoint. Decca doesn't even know where bullets are shot from. What use would it be to her? Hmm, any more questions? We got the watch and chains. Are you going to preach to me or something? Those guys' brains have turned into popcorn. It's not like they'll need these trinkets ever again. Uh, Ginsburg is not in the direction of the elevator with a glare. Suggests that it might be possible to get out through the air shaft. He twists his lip, his expression bitter. Nah, it's not. I tried. There's this yellow smoke filling the shaft. And I don't know about you, but I'm not going back in there. Back there. Uh, okay. So he won't help me, but I can, I can rescue him. He's just going to wait for me to rescue him here eventually. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Not judging you. Not judging you, but, uh... I could have really used your help. I could have really used your help. All right, let's open. Whoops. God, why is the camera being so weird? It's like flippity flopping around a lot. Can't lock pick it. Can I force it? Yeah, force it open. I will just kick the door. Can I talk to you at all? No, you're just you're just looking at the floor. Ooh, some hot, hot, glorious cup of coffee. I'll take it. You're just, I don't know what you're picking up there, mate, but oh, I can rest. Okay, I'm still encumbered, though. <laughs> Broken scissors. Wooden bar. I'm not going to take the wooden bar. I'm not going to take the wooden bar. Well, yeah, it does weird. Wow. Wow, okay, if you turn your camera and you move around, it does sometimes get really laggy. Weird. I wonder why that's happening. It's very strange. Oh, can I drink? Let's drink some water. Or, like, do that. The sound of running water. Get our vigorous buff going. I saw there were people over here. But they're just standing there. Vigor drinks machine... There's a turret. I'm not sure if that's going to attack me or not. Yeah. Oh, great. 60 health. Yeah, this is not going to go over well. Uh, 
single shot burst headshot damaging disarming shot let's do that one burst it i lacerated it so what if i move back here <laughs> he won't be able to shoot me <laughs> so i'll just keep moving back and forth and go back here <laughs> oh god okay uh what about what if i do the nail gun no okay nail gun bad idea let's try a single shot from the smg wow that does not no damage whatsoever yeah that does no damage oh my god it jammed are you kidding me okay let's go here unjam it not enough action points all right unjam let's unjam it let's save <laughs> oh god this is dumb this is so dumb wait that wasn't a burst shot that wasn't that did not look like a burst shot yeah oh because there's only 70 percent that was more like a burst shot how much ammo do i have left <laughs> i'm wasting a lot of ammo this way but it's almost down so yay oh god what the heck was that it's weird like sometimes it doesn't do the burst properly oh ah, god sorry sorry apparently there's something very very wrong with trying to target that what did i oh okay Oh my god, is that half? What does laceration even do to it? Okay, that that was a proper burst shot. Uh, reloaded. Not enough action points. Out of ammo. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, this is so dumb. Uh, this is so dumb. Do I re really? Yeah, I was going to say, I'm not out of ammo for that. Oh, maybe I wasn't actually out of ammo. Maybe I was just... Maybe I was just... Um... Yeah, I don't think I was actually out of ammo. I think I w it was just... Um, I need to reload it. Let's try that. Wait, did I not equip it? That's so weird. I can't put it in there right now. Why? That was very strange. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the out of ammo thing is weird. Because why does it say out of ammo if it's just... If it if I just need to reload it. That's weird. Oh, it's down to seven. <laughs> say bye to all the ammo that we've acquired. Yeah, how is a burst sometimes one shot and sometimes it's like five shots? Shouldn't it be always the same amount of bursts? Not enough ammo. Wait, how do I not have enough ammo to shoot that? Oh god, you're gonna just evade with that now, aren't you? I want to go next to it and just kick it. I want to just go next to it and kick it. Jammed? Are you kidding me? Ah. Uh, wait. Oh, the laceration did it. Okay, cool. Uh, let's unjam it. <laughs> oh my god, that was dumb. So apparently. apparently did you know you can make uh, mechanical things bleed because that's what we did we made it bleed we made a turret bleed 
<laughs> oh wait did i just take did i just get ammo for this i did i get for i got five millimeter ammo lovely okay cool that was the dumbest fight that we've had so far and that's including the fight in the tutorial where we almost died <laughs> oh that's hilarious that's absolutely hilarious okay let's look in here Ooh, i'll take that wait no i don't want to take all well we'll take all we'll just put the dirt back where's the dirt there's the dirt all of it thank you it gets a bit weird about rearranging things as well right let's force the lock the lock has been destroyed all right let's see melissa oh god the eyes hi a lithe woman is sitting cross-legged between, between blah, 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 blah. a lithe woman is sitting but you're standing cross-legged beside the beefy man from orange wing she seems to be watching something with a skeptical smirk and commenting in a quiet voice get to know the young woman in a visual manner her name tag declares she is a lab technician her name is melissa correa her olive skin gleaming eyes and straight dark hair also hit a brazilian descent her full lips are twitching as she mumbles under her breath listen closely the vi the white boy well, why is it what is it so hard today to read the white's voice is pleasantly deep nevertheless you can tell she's being capricious apparently dissatisfied over something it is you who is stupid shimon all boys are stupid and your cartoons are silly you don't ever do anything but punch each other some things are more important than that that's what mom says a town becomes angry almost enraged i'm not going to america i'm going to have a family and lots of kids and the first thing i'll do as their mother is forbid them from watching captain hyena take that Suddenly, a touch of panic rises in her voice. Shimon, wait. It's dangerous. Don't do this. I'll tell mom. Do you hear me? Stop it already. Don't, Shimon. No, sit beside her. You carefully sit down beside her. You can't hear exactly what she's mumbling, but her voice has a hypnotic effect. You feel sleepy, but you know it's, no, it's not the time for a nap. Okay, Shimon. A beefy man in orange overall sits on the floor beside a young woman from White Wing. His expression is excited, even beaming. His eyes are wide open, his lips twitching, but barely a sign escapes them. Take a look at him. A patch is sewn onto his distinctive overalls. Shimon Cardoso, cargo hang handler, taking a good look at the shaven head sack, a uh, uh, shaven headed sack of muscles covered with tattoos from eyebrows to fingertips. You can't help but shudder at the thought of just what kind of cargo he has to handle. Listen closely to what the man is whispering. You have to bend close to the orange's face. Your uh, ear nearly touching his lips. His voice is barely perceptible, uh, but his speech is distinct. Look. Melissa, look! Captain Hina is back at it. He'll defeat that pathetic flare. I'll bet five cruzeros on it. The man goes quiet for a few seconds and then resumes his whispering. Nope, it's not silly at all. It's an American cartoon where the good always defeats evil. That's the only way it can be. When I grow up, I'm going to be an American and take us both there. Come on, don't be stupid. To America, of course. The man sounds discouraged now, his voice pleading. I'm sorry, forgive me. I didn't want to hurt you. Of course you're not stupid. Stay with me, Melissa. Don't leave me. Don't leave me again. Not again. Oh. So I guess they've been they were together huh interesting I know obviously I mean obviously clearly they were friends but that's interesting Ooh, dark secrets beer and more beer did I why can't I okay oh apparently that's I took that from the floor but even though it was technically in the fridge interesting okay sure 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 sure, sure. oh terminal can I get some data? No, no useful data. Uh, that's just crafting material. What is this? Ammo. I like ammo. Did you know? Ventilation access climb. There is a body that was been dragged this way. Oof. Okay, we've been into that room. We, we gotta go. Obviously, get, obviously we gotta do the full loop de loop. Check out all the rooms. Been in here. Have we though? Actually. No, we haven't. The lock, the door, the or, uh, the or, the door hasn't been destroyed. What is going on today? <laughs> oh God, it's like the freaking uh, psychic irradiation is happening to me too. Help! Help! No useful data. No useful data. Nothing here on the floor. Uh, I can sit on there. It, I love the sitting icon. It basically looks like they're on the toilet. It's super funny. I love it. 
but that just that just looks like they're sitting on a, on the toilet <laughs> but i guess i mean sitting down and sitting down on the toilet is i mean you know you do you do sit on it right so that does work at least i can force all these locks i'm quite happy about that i like it no path there's totally a path lies oh we can look at that vent as well sam the salmon fish snacks mmm tasty the screen shows nothing but static okay Ooh, glorious things i will take them all heck yeah uh no useful data there cannot use can i cannot send uh, sit, sit down when in power armor that's funny no useful data well i guess we have to explore the rest of this facility and level next time thank you so much for watching everybody have a good one take care bye bye until then